We can easily create realistic materials with displacement maps. We can also create terrains with procedural textures. In this tutorial, I'm going to use adaptive subdivision with cycles, but also I'm going to use Eevee. First of all, I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to use cycles, change to experimental, also use GPU. Next, I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Change to sample. Also activate adaptive subdivision. Now we can add the material, select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T. Here select the textures by holding Shift. Select the color, displacement normal and roughness. I leave the link in the description to download the textures, but you can find more textures, uh, for example, on polyheaven.com. They are free. Just select the texture, change to zip, and make sure to download the displacement map. Now in World Properties, I'm gonna add a sky texture, Now play with the sun rotation. In material properties. Under settings. Make sure to set displacement to displacement and bump. Now here in the displacement node. We can change the scale to control the displacement strength. We can also use mid-level to prevent overlapping. Now in render properties, we can change the resolution and the subdivision. Here is the resolution for the viewport. We can lower this value for better quality, but it will take more resources. So for now, two pixels is enough for preview and dicing great render for the final render. If you have any problem rendering, just increase this value. For example, for my final render, I used 1.2 pixels. Now I'm gonna have some loop cuts here with Ctrl R, then Ctrl B. then E to extrude. Now select all the faces by pressing A, then press U and select Cube Projection. We can also use the displacement map without adaptive subdivision, but only on cycles. I'm going to change here to supported. Also switch back to bump only. And as you can see, we can get more details in the textures.
The assets that I'm using are free on my Gumroad. This is the pack I used, uh, Fantasy Props. But of course, you can use uh, whatever you like. We can also use procedural textures to create the rains. Uh, for example, I'm going to add a plane. Now create the material with Shift A, search for noise texture. Also displacement. Now connect factor to height, then to displacement. Don't forget to add the subdivision surface modifier with adaptive subdivision. Again, in material properties, change to displacement and bump. We can increase detail to the maximum, 15. And we can play with distortion to create different shapes. We can also add a color ramp between displacement and noise. With the color sliders, we can displace only on some parts. Uh, I'm gonna lower the strength, then move the white color to the left so we can flatten the top. And you can also add a color texture if you want. Of course, we can add more procedural textures. With Shift A texture, I'm gonna add a moss grape. We can also combine the textures, just add a mix color. Select the texture, press Ctrl T. Now in mapping, we can change the location and scale. Now, if you wanna render with Eevee, we should subdivide evenly, so we can use the remesh modifier. This is a very simple object, so we can use blocks. Then apply the modifier. Now add a subdivision surface. The displace modifier. And now select the displacement map. I'm going to use the same map, so I can select it from here. In the Displace modifier, set coordinates to UV. Again, press U and Q projection. 
Now play with the strength. But we need to increase the subdivision levels. For some objects, we cannot use blocks, but instead we can use voxel. Just lower voxel size. Then apply it. Again, unwrap with cube projection. Use the same material. and add a subdivision surface then the displace modifier change to UV and just play with the strength If you need to repeat the texture, here in mapping, increase this value. Also in the shader editor, we need to increase the scale in mapping. 